today we'll discuss the topic basic of cloud computing in this we study why cloud computing what is cloud computing advantage of cloud computing disadvantage of cloud computing and examples of cloud so first of all why cloud so before we discussing with what is the cloud we have to study why cloud so before cloud computing we use the stack of servers in this suppose an organization or any company want to do business then they purchase their own local server before the cloud computing or if the employee and the customer are increase then more server is required so that is called the peak traffic due to the peak traffic more server is required and then maintenance of server is required and the security of server is also required if we use the their own local own local server now due to this the disadvantages are expensive setup troubleshooting problems because for the local server they required their own software and hardware engineer or sometimes server will be idle or if the server will be idle uh, work will be stop because they have their own local server and the server security is also required for the local server so now we compare on premises and the cloud computing on premise versus cloud computing so in this on premise higher pay less scalability load use space for the server appoint a team for the hardware and software maintenance poor data security and less less chance of data recovery or in case of the cloud computing pay for what you use as we know that in case of the local server we have to pay higher and less scalability we can't increase scale up or scale down in case of the local server but in case of the cloud computing we scale up for the scale up we pay more and the scale down we pay less suppose in a company in a organization when the organization started then there was the only 10 people but after some time after 2 3 hours uh, to uh, sorry after 2 3 days the people will increase up to 1000 then more server is required so that will be the higher pay in the local server but in case of the cloud just pay more little bit more and you can use the services in case of the local server a lot use space for the server a space is required in a company for the server but there is no server space is required you can start your company in a room also but here is a load space is required appoint a team for the hardware and software maintenance in case of the on premise appoint a team for the hardware and the software maintenance there is no requirement for the hardware and software maintenance engineer in case poor data security here the better data security less chance of data recovery in case of the local server if the any problem exists and due to this problem data can be lost but here is the data can't be lost because data are replicated on different different server in case of the cloud similarly other is the lack of flexibility here is the high flexibility we can scale up and scale down according to the requirement in case of the cloud here is the no automatic update here is the automatic software update here is the less collaboration only 10 people the, uh, which are uh, concerning about the server they are uh, only know about the server configuration and the server um, uh, troubleshooting but here team can collaborate from the wide spread location different different location people interact with each other and find the solution in case of the cloud here the data can be accessed remotely can't be accessed remotely in case of the local server suppose in this the lockdown period the company was closed or if the company have no data on the cloud then they can't access their data through uh, from home but if the data are on the cloud they can they can access their data from anywhere any time where they want to see their access their data in case of the local prints take longer implementation time or here the rapid implementation sometimes it will take more time sometimes it will be less time or that is the better than the local server or you can say the 
on premise now in case of the cloud suppose you have a some music files files ebook video application podcast all these data all these data are existing on the cloud or if you want to these data on your local server then lots of data you confuse where do i store it and after some time running off hard drive space so in the cloud we can store unlimited data now time is come what is cloud what is cloud local system with the limited space so just move your data to the cloud to cloud with the unlimited space we can store unlimited data on the cloud now what is cloud computing cloud computing is in the simple means storing data processing data and accessing data we can store the data and we can store unlimited data on the cloud we can process the data or we can access the data so for the storing the data application on the remote server application on the we can store the data on the remote server and from the processing data we can use the application from the server here accessing data we can access the data through the internet so in short what is cloud computing cloud computing is a computing paradigm shift where the computing is moved away from personal computer or individual application server to a cloud of computer means it is a service that charges based on the amount of the computing resources that we use just pay and use the service services no need to require a local server we can just pay and use the services cloud provider will give the services to us now why cloud computing is called cloud why this term is called cloud this computing is called cloud because we are using the server we are using the host server through the internet that's why it is called the cloud computing and internet has the symbol of cloud because internet is the network of networks we can use the server or that remote server is called cloud and we are using these cloud services through the internet that's why it is called the cloud computing now cloud computing characteristics cloud computing has mainly five characteristics first characteristics is on demand self service on demand self service that means ki when we required we can just pay and use the services on demand if we we are not using the service then no requirement to pay any amount second broad network access we can access our data anywhere any time there is no limit ki we can't access at this time or we can't access this location we can access that data anywhere any time if the data exist on the cloud resource pooling means ki if suppose one server one server is used by many of people i am using this server you are using this server server so that means resources are pooling in this cloud rapid elasticity rapid elasticity we can increase the server or decrease the server according to our requirement we can mean scale up or scale down according to our requirement major service major service means ki through the cloud the cloud team measure the service services measure ki which services are used most and how to control it and how to reuse it so that people can easily access the data so and then the financial return is depending on the uses so that is the all the characteristics of the cloud computing now applications cloud computing applications means email online collaboration tools big data analytics test and development and storage email gmail yahoo mail redmi mail any mail outlook mail we are using these all are the examples of cloud and these are the examples of services of the cloud or that is the saas that is the software as a service second hai hamara online collaboration tools google docs google hangouts google form google sheet these all are the online collaboration tools 
that are the also the applications of the cloud big data analytics tools are used in the cloud test and development which are used in the cloud and the storage we can store unlimited storage on the cloud these all are the application of the cloud and many more applications are the cloud now advantages of the cloud so advantages of the cloud may first we study the lower computer cost uh, i think uh, now it is clear that the due to the own premise system yeah, you can say the local server if the um, uh, employee are increased in the first there was the only 10 employee now the employee are 10000 to then the more server is required or that will be the very expensive setup to so we can detect the expenses using the cloud using the cloud computing we just pay and we can scale up or if in the sometimes due to lockdown period is some problem occur so we can scale down according to our requirement instant software updates in the cloud software are updated instant new software are updated automatically there is no need to for the uh, us or a startup or a organization and institute only the cloud provider give the instant software updates unlimited storage capacity we can store unlimited data on the cloud increase data reliability because data are stored on the different different server if the one server will be ideal so we can fetch the data from the another server as in the example in the gmail if we are fetching the data from the google or we are uh, searching the email so if the one google server is busy so we can fetch the data from the another google server these are the bundle of the replicas of the server universal document access you can access data from any time anywhere and any location and device independence ki if uh, you are using the data which are stored in the cloud you can see the data your data through mobile through laptop through chromebook and any device you can access the data through the cloud lower the outlay expense for the startup companies if you want to open a startup then there is no need for a uh, big house a big home you can start up your company through your one room and there is a no requirement of the server to buy a server you can uh, uh, just uh, pay for the cloud provider and use the services of the remote server for the startup of your company and you can uh, increase scale up and scale down according to your requirement and easier group group collaborations so when you work with the cloud so you can share your problem with the other people and definitely you find the many solution from the other people now the disadvantages of the cloud computing as well as the advantages so here is also some disadvantages of the cloud computing so first they require a constant internet connection if you don't have a constant internet connection if the internet connection weak then cloud will not work you face the some problem so that's why constant internet connection is required does not work well with the low speed connection governance and regulatory compliance in some uh, country you can say that in the china china is not using the google so if you store the data uh, if you store your data in the gmail and you go to the china and you are searching for the your email so then it will create problem so that is the disadvantage of the cloud computing and stored my data not be secure because limited knowledge of the physical location of the stored data you don't know where is your data stored so that will be some disadvantage of the cloud computing but it is a little bit disadvantage you can't say ki this is the disadvantage it can be or may be or may not be and multi tenant platform ki means your data can be stored on the anywhere you don't know about the where is the data stored that is the disadvantage of the cloud computing now the examples of the cloud uh, as we discussed the gmail is the example of the cloud you have mail similarly these are the google drive is also example of the cloud google docs google sheet google slide you are using these all are the example of cloud apple i cloud is the also of the example of the cloud amazon cloud drive where you store the music and the, you store the your images unlimited storage that is also example of the cloud aws 
Amazon Web Services are the example of the clouds. Google Cloud is the example of the clouds. Facebook and Instagram are also example of the clouds where you store n number of your images in the Facebook and the Instagram that all store on the cloud. And the Chromebook, Chromebook is a device that use the uh, Google Chrome browser or where you can uh, access your uh, data through the Chromebook, through the Google Chrome. That is all are the example of the cloud. So this, what we study in this, what is cloud, why we use cloud, what is the characteristics of the cloud, advantages of the cloud, disadvantages of the cloud and the example of the cloud. Thank you. Thank you so much.